Hello and welcome to your weekly horoscope forecast for week commencing the 31st of January. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. Now what I'm going to do is provide a broad overview of what we can expect, but then as ever dive deep to give you in forensic detail the insights for each of the 12 zodiac signs. So please stay with me for that. This week begins with a sensational new moon in the sign of Aquarius. So what is a new moon? A new moon is an opportunity to set our intentions. We don't actually see the moon in the sky in most parts of the world. It's an opportunity, however, to really uh, direct our energies into the part of our situations that that particular new moon influences. So the sign of Aquarius is very much about the future, it's about friendships, collaboration and cooperation. So all those things can really come to the fore over the next four weeks. But this particular new moon also has, ironically, the two ruling planets or co-regents of Aquarius in somewhat of a quarrel. Saturn's part very close to the sun and the moon in Aquarius and Uranus, the higher octave, modern ruler of this sign, is on the fourth house cusp and that's very much to do with home family emotions but in terms of the overall zodiac Taurus is house two where Uranus is so I think if we're thinking of mixing business with pleasure it may not be the best over the next four weeks unless there's a, a very clear understanding of who does and contributes what and that could work okay but this week actually does see some glittering alliances, not least that Venus, the planet of love and affection, well that is going to be inching its way towards uh, a close conjunction with Mars, which really begins right at the end of this week. But Venus does forge, ironically, a beautiful link to Uranus. And then Mars, also in the sign of Capricorn, along with Venus, that's forging a very dynamic angle to Jupiter. Now when these two get together, uh, it really can give us greater self-confidence and drive. We're going with the flow, we're not so hesitant. It can give us that much more extra momentum and self-confidence and it comes into an exact sextile on Saturday towards the end of the week. But in relation to the other big influence of this week, that new moon, I think what it's saying to us is the sign of Aquarius can be quite idealistic and it's just saying that as long as we look for tangible results through that earthy energy that's being manifested through Venus and Mars in the sign of Capricorn in its or their link to Uranus in the sign of Taurus, as long as we look for earthy solutions and we're open-minded and we take the innovation of Aquarius, we can make progress. However, if we're too idealistic about what we expect, then that's when we may feel uh, like our wings are really being uh, clipped, that we're not flowing, things are not flowing quite as we want. So it's about staying grounded, but also open-minded. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'd be honored if you would subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, if you'd like to get your free daily written horoscope fired to your device each morning, I've been writing these for 25 years, please see the link beneath this video and you can get that each morning and it would be lovely to have you with me. Also, if you'd like to take advantage of my special package, special offer package of a year's forecast and a character analysis and get 30% off, if you've yet to really get into more serious natal astrology, this is a wonderful opportunity to do so. You can ascend above this zodiac broadcast and really understand what things are going to unfold for you as an individual based on your time, date and place of birth over the next 12 months into the early part of 23. Hello Pisces and welcome to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 31st of January. A new moon in the 12th house is known to be one of the most challenging new moons of each year. Of course, we have 12. For you, that occurs in the sign of Aquarius. What adds a level of complication is the fact that Saturn is part alongside the sun and the moon in that 12th house. 
And we also have Uranus in a very restless third house, which is affecting your nervous energy. So it's possible that some anxieties or concerns or uh, energies that you're absorbing around you can have a negative impact upon you this week. But I do say possibly, because Jupiter in your sign is forging one of the most dynamic links possible in astrology, and that's a sextile with Mars. Mars is exalted in the sign of Capricorn, which for you is about friendship, connectivity, networks, associations. So Jupiter is about expansion, growth, and crucially, good luck. So where you have a clear plan and you can believe in what you're trying to do, Jupiter and Mars can play off each other and propel you forwards dynamically. Also, Jupiter links to Uranus. So as much as Uranus forges that aggravating link with the sun and the moon, it actually forges a great link to Venus. So that can lead to surprises in terms of uh, invitations to social events, the type of people that you may connect with. But all of the time, there is Mercury in a retrograde through to Thursday, then going direct, coming out of shadow. And that too can help you to feel a little more confident. But all the time, there is Saturn in that very potentially limiting 12th house, playing on our uh, fears, our anxieties, uh, making us want to perhaps stay apart or detach from people in some ways because being detached and apart gives us a sense of security at some kind of level yet there's so many planetary influences that are giving you opportunities so maybe it's about choosing the right places or people to connect with and knowing where to steer clear certainly gossip could be something that really can be very wounded to you at this time with that square between the Sun and Uranus and Saturn and Uranus. Uh, so, you know, I'm not saying that you should drop your defences. What I'm saying is be aware that your defences may have almost become a little bit of a habit. And if that's the case, if that resonates to you, those other glorious set of alliances in Capricorn, Pisces, your own sign and Taurus are saying, look, there is an opportunity here, but sometimes we have to invest trust in people in order to get something back and that's a difficult thing if you are feeling that staying with a low profile hunkering down keeps you in a kind of non-threatening uh, situation but it can also see you missing out on quite a few things so your ability to judge what's good or more threatening to you is critical to how this week plays out for you and if you can see things developing that look exciting then believe they can be but I do totally understand that Saturn on the 12th house moon uh, this particular new moon can be quite tough especially with all the electric energy of Uranus feeding in to those potential fears and anxieties but if you think big and think that not everybody necessarily is going to disappoint you in the way that some people from your past have before the 12th house then Seize the moment.